错。Hey, what is up, guys? And welcome back to Too Much Tech. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at one of supposedly the best mice of 2018. I didn't get a chance to get around to taking a look at this mouse, so I waited a little bit after the hype to see what all the hype is about. The first version of this mouse was really good, had a couple caveats, but I guess the ultimate version of this mouse did fix those caveats. So I'm curious to see if this will be my new main mouse. Of course, we're still waiting for glorious to release the model d and that hasn't happened yet i guess we're gonna have to wait till way later in uh, january to try that one but uh it's okay we got this one to hold this over so today if you don't know what i'm talking about by now we're gonna be looking at the razor viper ultimate i'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing and then i'm gonna give you guys my first impressions of the mouse and also i'm gonna leave some gameplay at the end of the video so that you guys can see me use this mouse in action and what kind of performance you can uh, expect if you're you know pretty good at games and whatnot this is the wireless version of the viper that i reviewed earlier this year i had uh, a couple of things that i wasn't really in love about with the viper so um i ended up selling it i don't need it anymore so we got rid of it and i have a ton of mice already as you can see i got my g-wolves hottie right here and then uh behind my monitor i've got a basket full of mice main model o right here that's also going to get switched out in a future video viper ultimate right here hopefully this is going to be a really good cop and maybe my new main wireless mouse but yeah we got the little wireless dock dongle they got some new mouse feet that was one of my main complaints about the original viper was that the mouse feet to me personally were not that great in comparison to what I've been using before. I'm not gonna lie, the mouse feet were pretty similar to the original mouse feet that I had on my G-Wolf's hottie. The glide felt pretty similar, but I recently just swapped out these uh, mouse feet on this hottie to some of these uh, Tiger Skate, the Arc ones, I believe. But as you can see, I've got a little collection of mouse skates right here, the Hyperglides, the uh, Core Pads, Tiger, of course, G-Skates and stuff on the uh, Model O. So eventually, we're gonna do a comparison probably later this month maybe in the next like couple weeks or so of uh what are the real best mouse skates on the market oh you know what? i forgot i got the uh the lexip pro mouse skates too on my model o but yeah just to let you guys know what we got coming up so yeah of course we're gonna do a full review on this mouse as well gonna leave you guys with some of my uh, opinions today and then come back a little bit later with a full review and then yeah i'm really excited for these uh these mouse skates actually see what's the best you can kind of see what's worth it because i know they take a while to get because they take forever because they ship in these tiny little packages and they don't really do fresh shipping but what i will say lethal gaming gear i got this set of core pads and these tiger skates from lethal gaming gear not sponsored but i watched one of bt's videos and i was like hey you know let me go ahead and check out lethal gaming gear went to their site ordered it and within like three or four days i want to say it showed up at my doorstep but yeah guys without further ado let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of this viper ultimate and uh yeah use a wireless mouse for a change i think it'll be nice to have a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard for a while and uh yeah see what i think of it all right so we've got our viper right here so razor chroma rgb hyperspeed focus plus sensor viper ultimate wireless gaming mouse with the charging dock of course we would hope that would be in the box right razor's new optical switches that's kind of what makes this uh this mouse special just like the huntsman keyboard and the viper before the optical switches are super fast 70 hours of battery life wow that is uh pretty good and it only weighs 74 grams so obviously it's competing with all the other top super lightweight mice so just within one year we've gotten so many more super lightweight mice as well as a wireless one that doesn't weigh that much more okay how do i open this thing where's the oh it's magnetic on the side <laughs> So we got the wireless dock right here. And I'm uh, dang, this thing is really light. Holy crap. I think my hottie is like 60 grams or something. It's like barely noticeably heavier. And you can tell they did a really good job paying attention to the weight distribution of this mouse because some people kind of forget that, you know, yeah, the mouse can be super light, but if the weight distribution is a little off, it will kind of throw off your aim a little bit. That was kind of one of the biggest problems I had with the, uh, the G502. It just didn't feel like a very balanced mouse. But this, I think they put the battery pack like somewhere in the center here, cause it feels like perfect. Like it's not like you shake it and you, 
you feel like you know you got some resistance but no this feels absolutely perfect in terms of uh, the weight distribution ambidextrous so if you need the buttons on the right side you have them I will say that these buttons, even though they're kind of small, they definitely do feel better than the original Viper. I'll say that much too. I gotta break in these skates, that's for sure. I gotta play with it for a few hours or so, but they feel slightly better than the skates on the Viper, the original Viper, but not by a ton but uh i'll have to play with them and you know smooth them out a little bit and put some use in them so like your regular razor stuff probably some stickers in there too here's the cable this is actually a pretty nice cable it's pretty similar to the one that was on the viper but i'll say maybe just wrapped up it does feel a bit stiffer but obviously you know we'll need this to uh charge it i don't think i would play with this cable if i didn't have to obviously because it's wireless but it's uh it's pretty decent but I can definitely tell that the original Viper had a better uh, paracord-like cable. Pretty similar weave to the one that's on the original Viper, but you can definitely tell that the inside, the wiring, is definitely a bit more reinforced, probably because it has to carry a bit more charge to power this if you ever want to play with it wired, but uh, you really don't have to. So it's got 70 hours of battery life, and as long as you dock it on here, you should be good to go and should never really have to play with it wired but goes in pretty easily i wish it was usb type c but um, it's a micro usb so pretty standard stuff hopefully they ship this mouse with like some kind of charge and then we got our usb dongle inside the mouse so just go ahead and drop that right into the dock we're gonna assume that this thing is already charged because we really hope that it is i am super surprised at how light this mouse is this thing is insane. Razer have been killing it recently, oh my god. So we've got our mouse set up, so it's all good to go now. Let's go ahead and check out some of the settings. So we got our mouse dock here. You can customize the uh, RGB effects and stuff. They got a few different ones. Spectrum cycling to be looks pretty good, so that's normally what I leave it on. Uh, brightness, 100% of course, because why not? And it'll let you know what your charging indicator is when your mouse is docked. Then if you go over to your Viper, you can check out the different settings. You can customize all the buttons, your performance. You can set your own custom DPI. I use a thousand and I change the amount of stages. So you can have up to five stages to change your DPI. And then there's a little button underneath the mouse with the little color indicator that will let you know when you change your DPI. And you can also see it on the screen too. And it tells you what it is. So you don't have to worry about if you change your DPI by accident, you don't know what's going on. It pops up on the screen, which I think is actually pretty nice. You can change the polling rate, the lighting. I just turned the lighting off because I wanna see how long this battery will last. And the lighting really to me doesn't matter that much on this mouse because where they have the light is in the middle of the palm rest. So you don't really see it. And I think it looks really nice when it's off because you can't really see the Razer logo, especially from a distance, um, unless you're looking with a microscope or something. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Also be sure to like our Facebook page as well. We just made that a little bit less than a week ago and we're also running a giveaway as well. So we're running a glorious Model O giveaway. If you wanna enter that, just be sure to like the Facebook page as well as share one of the most recent videos. So it could be this one, it could be the one that I uploaded before this. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, like the Facebook page. I will catch you guys in the next video and enjoy some gameplay.